Hi, I'm Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. And I'm Congresswoman Doris Matsui. And we're co-chairs of the House Democratic Caucus Task Force on Seniors. Today, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Older Americans Act. Older Americans who have worked hard, raised families, and kept our country strong should be able to live with dignity and independence. The Older Americans Act helps them do that by providing critical services to millions of senior citizens and their families. Democrats have a long record of working to improve the financial and health security of senior citizens, and we're proud of that. President Truman held the first national conference on aging in 1950. In 1961, delegates to the White House Conference on Aging made recommendations that led to the Older Americans Act. The act was signed into law by President Lyndon Johnson on July 14, 1965. Each year, the Older Americans Act provides more than 11 million people with services like home-delivered and congregate meals, known as Meals on Wheels, which is a program most people know about. However, others are unaware that because of the Older Americans Act, seniors have transportation to medical appointments and the grocery store, adult daycare, and more. The Older Americans Act provides critical support and respite services to those caring for older adults. And today, over 35 million Americans are family caregivers. The Older Americans Act promotes health and well-being, helping manage diabetes, prevent falls, and improve behavioral health so seniors can live at home in their community. Over two million seniors are the victims of elder abuse, neglect, or exploitation, and the Older Americans Act provides training and technical assistance to stop that abuse. It also helps low-income older Americans find employment, and it funds the Senior Medicare Patrol, training older Americans and their families how to report Medicare and Medicaid fraud. The Older Americans Act has been serving seniors and families well for half a century. With 10,000 Americans turning 65 each day, we need to keep it strong. Just yesterday, the White House held the 2015 White House Conference on Aging. President Obama spoke about the issues facing older Americans. Regional conferences were discussed and advocates talked about the need to reauthorize the Older Americans Act and make it even more effective. Today is not only the 50th anniversary of the Older Americans Act, it is the first day of the House Democratic Caucus Month of Action, celebrating security for America's seniors and families from generation to generation. On July 30th, Medicare and Medicaid turned 50 and on August 14th, Social Security will mark its 80th anniversary. We hope you will join us in celebrating the accomplishment of the Older Americans Act, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. And we hope you will join us in committing to work to protect these national treasures and to expand their protections. We will have more information for you in the coming weeks. In the meantime, thank you for watching and Happy, Happy Anniversary, Anniversary Older, Older Americans, Americans Act! Act.